Hey everybody, what's up? It's Wednesday and we're here for another video. And this video is a much requested video about how to use PowerPoint as virtual backgrounds and use the slides feature with the new Zoom update. So a lot of people have asked how to do this. And I was too afraid to even start doing it because it seemed like it was going to be an involved process and it's actually not. And I wanna show you guys. And so the first thing that you have to do in order to use the PowerPoint as a virtual background feature is you would have to check your Zoom for the newest update and see if it's available on your Zoom. So what I'm doing is I'm showing how I would click zoom.us up here in the left-hand corner. And I'm going to scroll down until I see check for updates. Click check for updates and it will tell you if your Zoom is out of date. And if it is, you're gonna update it. Okay, so now that you've checked for updates, you should see an update available on your Zoom and the update number is Zoom 5.4.1. So that's the update version that you need in order to use this feature. Secondly, you need to have PowerPoint or Keynote downloaded already on your computer. Google Slides won't work for this. So if you don't have PowerPoint or Keynote, we're gonna to have to stick to using the virtual backgrounds feature that we all know and love and have been using this entire time. But hopefully Google Slides will have a way to make its way into being able to be saved. But for right now, this is for Keynote and PowerPoint only. All right, so you just got the newest update with Zoom and you're ready to share a slide sequence as virtual backgrounds. So I have Kylie here and I'm going to show you all how it would look if you had a client. And there's Kylie. And what you're going to do first is hit share screen and automatically Zoom will pull up that basic share screen options that we're very familiar with, which is you can share your whiteboard or your iPhone. Then you're going to go over to advanced, which is the new feature and click on slides as virtual background. And we're going to click share. And then you get the option of selecting PowerPoints that are saved onto your computer. So I'm going to select the pop-up game PowerPoint and it will say preparing slides. And there I am. And I can move Kylie into the screen. So she's here and I have her as a pin. So I'm going to pin Kylie. Pinning allows me to see Kylie the entire time that I'm using this virtual background option. And then I go to hide self view. So I'm only seeing Kylie and I will move Kylie to the side of the screen that I am not in. So if I'm working on this side of the screen, I would move the client to the other side and wherever you happen to be in the screen, you just don't want them covering your face so you can see everything that's going on. So now you all see that I have a virtual background slide pulled up and I am in this box. So this box allows me to change the size that I am in the screen. And ideally you would make your box as big as possible so that you can interact in the screen the same way we would with our other virtual backgrounds feature. Because if you make your box really small, if you reach up, your arm will get cut off. If you reach to the side, your arm will get cut off. But if you make your box extra big, you will fit into the screen just like you are used to. So I like to make my box as big as possible, although there might be some benefits to making me small and moving my head around. In this particular type of slide sequence, I wouldn't do that. So you all can see these arrows down here. And what we can do is we can click through the arrows and go through the slides of the background, just like we were before. Only now it's a little bit easier to organize because it's on this slide and we don't have to keep it saved in our virtual background settings. So we just saw it from my perspective as the therapist, what it looks like when I am screen sharing virtual backgrounds with slides. But from your client's perspective, it looks a little bit different than the typical virtual backgrounds that we've been using up until this point. So Kylie and I are going to do a role reversal where Kylie is the therapist and I am the client and she's going to screen share. And I want to show you what it would look like when you're in gallery view with your client and Kylie is starting to screen share right now. So I'm the client and what I'm seeing is two Kylie's. So I'm seeing the Kylie in the screen and I'm seeing Kylie in this gallery view up on top. And in order for your client to only see one of you, you're going to have to ask them to pin themselves. So if you all can see over here where these three dots are, you will have to walk your client through pinning themselves so that they become one half of the screen and Kylie's the other half of the screen. 
And if your client were in standard view, this is the same. So you would only be seeing one of Kylie. So it doesn't necessarily have to be gallery view, but you do need to make sure your client is pinned if you don't want them seeing two of you the entire time with this feature. Something else that's important to consider is that you have to have the most updated version of PowerPoint. So um, I have a computer that's from 2011 and it has an old version of PowerPoint and this is not a feature that'll work. So um, if you have PowerPoint that's from, I think 2016 or later, it, this will work for you. Yes, and you might get that error message that says PowerPoint is not installed on your computer. It is installed on your computer, but not the version that Zoom is looking for. So if you don't have the newest version of PowerPoint, sadly, this feature won't work. And similarly, if you're using Google Slides, it also won't work. Also, another really important piece is that your client has the most updated version of Zoom if you are using this feature, because if they don't, they will not see you in the virtual background and they will only see you sharing a PowerPoint slide as though you were screen sharing in the old version of Zoom. And I made a little video clip to show what that looks like. So in this clip here, I am using the outdated version of Zoom and Kylie is the therapist and she is attempting to share her slides as a virtual background. But as you can see from my perspective, I can only see this small box and the big PowerPoint and Kylie is not in the scene because I'm not updated. All right, so that is the end of the PowerPoints as virtual backgrounds feature video. So we hope that this was helpful for you guys. And if it was really overwhelming, make sure that you do go back and watch our other tutorial videos that explain the basics of Zoom. And then when you're ready and you've become a master at using the other virtual backgrounds feature, jump on over and start using this PowerPoint feature because it's really great. Bye.